Well, hi everyone. Get example two going here. Um, find the formula for the slope of the graph of g of x equals 1 over x minus 2. And what are the slopes at 4, 1 half, and 3, 1? So I want to find the general form formula for the slope of any thing on this function, and then we have specific values for x that we're going to try it for. So, um, remember, I'm just going to write this over just to kind of get ourselves focused, that we need to find g of x plus h, the limit of g of x plus h minus g of x over h, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1 would always be h in the way we have these set up. And g of x plus h, let's make you write limit as h approaches 0. That's 1 over x plus h minus 2 minus, and then g of x is 1 over x minus 2. And then that is over h. And my job here is to make this, these two, into one fraction. So, limit as h approaches zero, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to multiply by x minus 2 over x minus 2, because this doesn't have the x minus 2 in the denominator. Subtract that, and then I've got the 1 over x minus 2, and th it needs this part, the x plus h minus 2, for the common denominator. I'll just go ahead and just extend that out, x plus h minus 2 there. And my numerator, I've got x minus 2 times 1 there over x minus 2 times x plus, I'm going to, h minus 2 minus, and then that's 1, so that's just x plus h minus 2 over x minus 2 times x plus plus h minus 2, and I'm going to back up here for a second because I realized I didn't write the h there. This is all still over h. This is just the numerator. This is over h, and as I'm prone to do, I forgot to write the limit there. Limit as h approaches 0. So, I want to take, for the next step, I want to combine my numerators. Let's go x minus 2, and this is minus, so it's minus the whole thing, so distribute that minus, minus x, minus h, and a minus minus is plus 2, and that is over x minus 2 times x plus h minus 2, and we still have h down there. Well, the limit as h approaches 0, x and minus x here, negative 2 and positive 2 here. I'm going to write negative h over x minus 2 times x plus h minus 2, and put that over h. Okay, this is a complex fraction. Let's uncomplex it. Let's um, multiply the top and bottom by 1 over h. And this h will cancel with that h. And negative 1. So, this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of, and we, we made 1 the denominator, so we don't have to write that part anymore. So I have the x minus 2 times x plus h minus 2. And I got negative 1 on the top. Okay, I'm going to put 0 in there. So I've got, well, the, I'm, when I substitute 0, the limit's done. I've got negative 1 over x minus 2 times x minus 2. 
or negative 1 over x minus 2 squared. All right, that is the general form um, for the slope of this function. And it varies depending on what the value of x is. So the x is still a variable here. Um, at 4, 1 half, m will equal negative 1 over 4 minus 2 squared. Or negative 1 over 2 squared, which is negative 1 fourth. Now, this might seem familiar. This was actually in the last assignment. It said, what was it at this specific example at 4, 1 half? Um, well, we actually put the 4 in here and did the work. And I, many of you got that negative 1 fourth. So I just wanted to kind of give another look at it. And at. 3, 1, we got, got a mutant m here. Let me just write m equals negative 1 over 3 minus 2 squared. Which is negative 1 over 1 squared, which is negative 1 divided by 1 or negative 1. The slope at that specific point is just um, negative 1. All right, I'm going to do one more, but it'll be